alaikum everyone welcome back to exclusive modest hope you have a wonderful day today's episode is going to be on how to cut a gown with a bias design this is the bias that we get to use to make a design and the dress you can see and i'm using three one quarter of this curve fabric to cut it out you can see so i'll be folding this now into four places so this is after folding it into four this is into two as you can see into four the full length of the sleeve is the next thing i'm going to take now but before then i'll be taking a shoulder slant of one inch of one inch you can see then from here i'll be slanting it all to both center of back and front then i'll be cutting it out the slip measurement from the center is going to be 31 inches and here is 26 inches 26 inches here yeah. so the remaining 5 inches is going for the band it has a band of 5 inches from here now I'll be taking a measurement of 5 inches the awareness of the sleeve is going to be 10 inches here yeah. then I'm going to take a measurement of 9 inches A. This is armor measurement. They cut together with the sleeve. That's why I'm taking this out to be 9 inches. The main measurement for this armor for this size is 7.5 inches. So the back measurement is 15 inches. But since it's cut together with the sleeve, that's why I'm making it of 9 inches. Taking eight inches out here. No, we be, we have deducted one inch for the shoulder slant. Here. That's why this place will be eight inches, and this area will be nine inches. So I'm going to connect them together to make a straight line. This area now is now nine inches. You can see. From the center of the neck, 9 inches, but at this area now, it's 8 inches. The reason why this area is 8 inches is because we deducted 1 inch for the shoulder slant. So to make the straight line, 8 inches to 9 inches, that's what I've chopped out. So, this doesn't need um, waist measurement, but you're going to put a bust measurement of what you're using. So I'll be using a bust measurement of this is 36 inches. I'm making use of 36 inches of bust. 36 inches. You can see the same allowance of one inch. You can see. So from here now I'll be slanting it down to the length. The full length of dress is 60 inches. And this is our 60 inches here. You can see. It's 60 inches. Then. From this now. I'm going to slant it down. To 60 inches. To use all these wideness. You can see now, this doesn't need a waist measurement, doesn't need, doesn't need hip measurement also. You can see the shape. From here, I slant it down using this widening of the clothes. You can see it. So the next thing that I mean is to cut the neckline. It's a turtleneck. You can see it's a turtleneck. So I'm using 2.5 for the wideness of the neck. The neck must not be too wide since it's a turtleneck. 
then the deepness of the back i'll be using two inches while the deepness of the front i'll be using three inches okay see then i'm going to connect them together this way okay see so i'm cutting out okay see after that i'm cutting out the front i'll be connecting this five inches with this because this is our sleeve measurement now So now this is now the shape of the sleeve you can see this is what we are going to cut out this area so let me cut it out and show it to you I'll be reducing this edge with two inches. You can see this is not constant. You can use to depend how how curve you want this area to be. So I'll be curving it to this line. So this is after cutting it up. You can see this is not the shape. So to cut out the front neck, I'll be taking this out. To cut it up. So you can see. So this is done. It. So the, the next thing to do now is to divide the front into two. So I'll be dividing it into two this way. This is after dividing it into two then you're going to so this is the area that we're going to put our bias when you fold the bias into two like this you open this bias like this then you fold it into two this way you can see then you put it at the center of at the wrong side and it's going to show like this after sewing it so i'll be showing you all that so to cut out the band this is into two then into four like this this is going to be the down part at the waist this is going to be the upper part that you're going to join to the to the sleeve that is coming so the full length is now five inches but with the same allowance i'm making it six inches you can see this is going to be five inches as well to five inches So all the allowance is there already. And I'm going to cut it out. So this is not the band. Can you see? So to cut out the standing collar. This is inch or two. 
then I'll be making it of 2.5 inches 2.5 inches the half inch is going for the sewing allowance and these two inches now is now the color the standing color whiteness so we don't know the length of our of our standing color yet until when we until when we join the two shoulders we cannot know the length of our standing color so i'm just cutting this out first So this is not the color. Let's go to the sewing section. Put the bias at the center. This is how to fold the bias. You open the bias this way, then you fold it into two equally. Then you place it at the head like this, then you start sewing. We are going to use the other side to cover it, then you stitch. I'm folding the bias into two. This is different from the one we did. The way we are folding the bias at this area. So to put the bias now, you're going to stop the bias that is coming from the neck. The one you put from the neck, you're going to stop it here. I stop it here. You can take the measurement like five inches. So I stop the measure. I stop the bias coming from the neck at here, four point five inches below. Then. I stitch it like this because when you stop it and I stitch it this way then at the stitching I'm going to add my bias to it folding the bias this way not not the normal way that I've been folding it before this I'm just going to fold it into two this way then I'm going to stitch it at that line So I'm going to hand it here. You can see. You can see now. So to put the band now, you can see the band. I'm going to place it this way. 
But before they have smudged the center, you know the center, to the center. So now, this is how it's going to be. You can see they're going to put a button holes here and here, and that's the end of the sleeve. So now, I want to explain the sleeve to you. I told you I'll be adding five inches to the body to make a complete sleeve length. The reason why is that. I'm not using three and a half yard of this fabric or four yards. If I'm using three and a half yard of this fabric or four yards, I'll be able to get my full length of sleeve up to 28 inches or 29 inches. Then the band that will be hardening will just be two inches like this. After hardening two inches, by the time I turn the two inches, is going to give me the 1.5 inches to make a complete sleeve. You know, when you're adding 2 inches to 29, it's going to give you 31. So, by the time you turn it you, and you do all the stitching, it's going to be up, it's going to give you 30 inches. That will be the complete sleeve length, and that is what I've done. So, this joint that I did here just to make it longer. This is four points. The joining is four point four four inches. The joining of this four inches just to make the sleeve longer to which where I'll be hiding these two inches. And when I turn, you can see this is the main band that we want at this time. We didn't need this joining. So you cannot see the reason why I I do this joining now. So the normal um, band that you're going to use for this particular tie is this measurement, just two inches. When you turn it, it will give you two. Uh, when you turn it, it's going to give you 1.5 inches. So the next thing to do now is to wear it and show it to you. Welcome back. This is after joining all the stitchings, all the cuttings together. You can see. So, at the neckline, I said to you that before you can cut out this standing collar, the first thing you're going to do is to join the two shoulders. So after you join the two shoulders, then you're going to know the oneness of the neck. So when you know the oneness of the neck, and what we use was 2.5 inches, the half inch is going for the seam allowance, and the two inches is going for the standing collar. And at this area too, you are going to divide it into two in order for you to be able to put your bias inside it the way you did for the front and for the shoulder. You can see. And this area, I'm at the slip line here. I'm going to put a button here. At the slip side, I'm going to put two buttons there. One here and one here. You can see. And you can see the way I place this bias there. You can see the other one too. The same thing applicable to the other side. You can see it. So this is the end of the stitching. You can see. You can see how beautiful it turns out. If you're watching for the first time, you're in the right place to be. And make sure you subscribe to my channel so that whenever I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified. And for those who are already subscribed, I really appreciate you guys for watching my video always. See my next class. Bye.